Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2021. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we are going to be covering Ezekiel 22 through 23 and 1 Peter 1. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation so that the reading of your Word will be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Judgment on Jerusalem's Sins Ezekiel 22 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, will you judge her? Will you judge this city of bloodshed? Then confront her with all her detestable practices and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. You, the city that brings on herself doom by shedding blood in her midst and defiles herself by making idols. You have become guilty because of the blood you have shed and have become defiled by the idols you have made. You have brought your days to a close and the end of your years has come. Therefore, I will make you an object of scorn to the nations and a laughing stock to all the countries. Those who are near and those who are far away will mock you, your infamous city full of turmoil. See how each of the princes of Israel who are in your use in his power is shed is to shed blood. In you they have treated father and mother with contempt. In you they have oppressed the foreigner and mistreated the fatherless and the widow. You have despised my holy things and desecrated my Sabbaths. In you are slanderers who are bent on shedding blood. In you are those who eat at the mo mountain shrines and commit lewd acts in you are those who dishonor their father's bed in you are those who violate women during their periods when they are ceremonially unclean in you one man commits a detestable offense with his neighbor's wife another shamefully defiles his daughter-in-law and another violates his sister his own father's daughter. In you are people who accept bribes to shed blood. You take interest and make a profit from the poor. You extort unjust gain from your neighbors, and you have forgotten me, declares the Sovereign Lord. I will surely strike my hands together, at the unjust gain you have made and at the blood you have shed in your midst. Will your courage endure or your hands be strong in the day I deal with you? I, the Lord, have spoken and I will do it. I will disperse you among the nations and scatter you through the countries and I will put an end to your uncleanliness. When you have been defiled in the eyes of the nations, you will know that I am the Lord. Then the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, the people of Israel have become dross to me. All of them are the copper, tin, iron, and lead left inside a furnace. They are but the dross of silver. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because you have all become dross, I will gather you into Jerusalem. As silver, copper, iron, lead, and tin are gathered into a furnace to be melted with a fiery blast, so will I gather you in my anger and my wrath and put you inside the city and melt you. I will gather you, and I will blow on you with my fiery wrath, and you will be melted inside her. As silver is melted in a furnace, so will be, 
so you will be melted inside her, and you will know that I am the Lord who have poured out my wrath on you. Again the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say this to the land, You are a land that has not been cleansed or rained on in the day of wrath. There is a conspiracy of her princess with her like a roaring lion tearing its prey. They devour people, take treasures and precious things, and make many widows with her, within her. Her priests do violence to my law and profane my holy things. They do not distinguish between the holy and the common. They teach that there is no difference between the unclean and the clean, and they shut their eyes in to the keeping of my Sabbaths, so that I am profaned among them. Her officials within her are like wolves tearing their prey. They shed blood and kill people to make unjust gain. Her prophets whitewash these be deeds for them by false visions and lying diventions. They say this is what the Sovereign Lord says. When the Lord has not spoken, the people of the land practices extortion and commit robbery. They oppress the poor and the needy and mistreat the foreigner, denying them justice. I looked for someone among them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the land, so I would not have to destroy it, but I found no one. So I will pour out my wrath on them and consume them with my fiery anger, burning down on their own heads all that they have done, declares the Sovereign Lord. Two Adulterous Sisters Ezekiel 23 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, there were two women, daughters of the same mother, they became prostitutes in Egypt, engaging in prostitution from their youth. In that land their breasts were fondled and their virgin bosoms caressed. The older was named Ahola, and her sister was Aholababa. They were mine and gave birth to sons and daughters, Ahola in Samaria and Aholaba in Jerusalem. Ahola engaged in prostitution while she was still mine, and she lusted after her lovers, the Assyrians, warriors. Clothed in blue gov governors and commanders, all of them handsome young men and mounted horsemen, she gave herself as a prostitute to all the elite of the Assyrians and defiled herself with all the idols of every everyone she lusted after. She did not give up the prostitution she began in Egypt when during her youth men slept with her, caressed her virgin bosoms, and poured out their lust on her. Therefore I delivered her into the hands of her lovers, the Ar Ar Assyrians, for whom she lusted. They stripped her naked, took away her sons and daughters, and killed her with the sword. She became a byword among women, and punishment was inflicted on her. Her sister, O Oliva, saw this, and yet in her lust and prostitution she was more depraved than her sister. She too lusted after the Assyrians, governors and commanders, warriors in full dress, mounted horsemen, and all handsome young men. I saw that she too defiled herself, both of them went the same way. 
But she carried her prostitution still further. She saw men portrayed on a wall figures of colonnades portrayed in red with belts around their waists and flowering turbans on their heads. All of them looked like Babylonian charioteers, officers, na- nativities, and chaldees. And as soon as she saw them, she lusted after them and sent messengers to them in Shalad. Then the Babylonians came to her to the bed of love, and in their lust they defiled her. After she had been defiled by them, she turned away from them in disgust. And when she carried on her prostitution openly and exposed her naked body, I turned away from her in disgust. I, in disgust just as I had turned away from her sister, yet she became more and more promiscuous as she recalled the days of her youth when she was a prostitute in Egypt. There she lusted after her lovers, whose genitals were like those of donkeys, and whose emissions was like that of horses. So you longed for the lewdness of your youth, when in Egypt your bosoms were caressed, and your young breasts fondled. Therefore, O Labada, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I will strip you of your lovers against you, those you turned away from in disgust, and I will bring them against you from every side, the Babylonians and all the cauldrons, the men of Pekod and Shao and Keo, and all the Assyrians with them, handsome young men. All of them, governors and commanders, chariot officers, and men of high rank, all mounted on horses. They will come against you with weapons, chariots, and wagons, and with a throng of people. They will take up prostitution against you on every side, with large and small shields, and with helmets. I will turn you over to them. for punishment, and they will punish you according to their standards. I will direct my jealous anger against you, and they will deal with you in fury. They will cut off your noses and your ears, and those of you who are left will fail, uh, will fall by the way, by the sword. Those of you who are left will fall by the sword, and they will take away your sons and daughters and those of you who are left will be consumed by fire. They will also strip you of your clothes and take your fine jewelry. So I will put a stop to the lewdness and prostitution you began in Egypt. You will not look on those things with longing or remember Egypt anymore. For this is what the Lord says, I am about to deliver you into the hands of those you hate. To those you turned away from in disgust, they will deal with you in hatred and take away everything you have worked for. They will leave you stark naked, and the shame of your prostitution will be exposed. Your lewdness and promiscuity have brought this on you because you lusted after the nations and defiled yourself with their idols. You have gone the way of your sister, so I will put her cup into your hands. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. You will drink your sister's cup, a cup large and deep. It will bring scorn and desertion, for it holds so much. You will be defiled with drunkenness, and sorrow, the cup of ruin and desolation, the cup of your sister Samaria. You will drink it and drain it dry and chew on its pieces, and you will tear your breasts. 
I have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Since you have forgotten me and turned your back on me, you must bear the consequences of your lewdness and prostitution. The Lord said to me, Son of man, will you judge oh, Ahola and Aholaba? Then comfort them with these, with their detestable, and then confront them with their detestable practices, for they have committed adultery, and blood is on their hands. They committed adultery with their idols. They have even sacrificed their children, whom they bore to me as food for them. They have also done this to me. At that same time, they defiled my sanctuary and desecrated my Sabbaths. On the very day they sacrificed their children to their idols, they entered my sanctuary and desecrated it. That is what they did to my, in my house. They even sent messengers for me who came from afar away. They came from far away, and when they arrived, they bathed the, your, yourself for them. You bathed yourself for them. Applied eye makeup and put on your jewelry. You sat on an elegant couch with a table spread before it on which you had placed the incense and olive oils that belonged to me. The noise of a carefree uh, crowd was around her. Drunkards were brought from the desert along with men from the rubble and the rabble. And they put mm, bracelets on the wrists of the women and her sister and beautiful crowns on her their heads. Then I said about one worn out by adultery, now let me use then I said about the one worn out by adultery. Now let them use her as a prostitute, for she is, that is all she is. And yet they slept with her as men sleep with a prostitute. So they slept with those lewd women, Ahola and Aholaba. But righteous judges will sentence them to their punishment of women who commit adultery and shed blood because they are adulterers and blood is on their hands. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Bring a mob against them and give them over to terror and plunder. The mob will stone them and cut them down with their swords. They will kill their sons and daughters and burn down their houses. So I will put an end to lewd, uh, lewdness in the land that all women may take warning and not imitate you. You will suffer the penalty for your lewdness and bear the consequences for your sins of idolatry. Then you will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. That was Ezekiel 22 and 23. Now we will be turning to 1 Peter 1. 1 Peter 1. 1 Peter 1. Okay. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ... To, God, uh, to God's elect exiles scattered throughout the province of Pontus, Galatia, uh, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying works of the Spirit to be or obedient to Jesus Christ and sprinkled with his blood. Grace and peace be yours in abundance. 
Praise be to the God of, and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is already to be revealed in the last times. In all this you greatly rejoice, and through and though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials, these have come so that the proven geniuses of your faith of greater worth than gold which perishes even though refined by fire may result in praises, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. You have received the end results of your faith and salvation of your souls. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who spoke of the grace that was to come to you searched intently and with the greater care, trying to find out the time and circumstances to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointing when he predicted the suffering of the Messiah and the glories that would follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves but you. And when they spoke of the things that have now been told to you by those who have preached the gospel to you, be the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Even angels long to look into those... In, even angels long to look into to, into these things. Be therefore with minds that are alert and fully sober. Set your hope on the grace to the be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. As obedient children do not com confirm to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you his holy, and just as he is who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. Since you call on a father who judges each person's works in impartial, uh, impartiality, live out your time as foreigners here in reverent fear. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of the life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him, and so your faith and hope are in God. Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truths so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart, for you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. For all people are like grass, and for their glory is like the flower of the field, 
the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the world, the word that was preached to you. And that was First Peter 1. Which concludes the Bible with Frisco 2021 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Ezekiel 24 through 26 and First Peter 2. Father, I just thank you for your word. Because without your word, I could not be your messenger of the word. So I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for today. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow because, well, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too.